Hot bullseye. Chicken on a fire is just so awesome. Anything on a fire is great. The chicken is looking real good. The vehicle there, but I can't tell if it's Joe. I think I found him. There's Joe and Tom. I should really cook some mushrooms. There's morel of the year. Oh, yeah. The secret ingredient. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh boy. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Always great to get out in the bush, I gotta tell you that. Joe asked if I could go check a fire over here, uh, near where I am, to see about some morels. He's down on another fire. I'm gonna try and meet up with him maybe tomorrow and see how he's doing down there. But he just asked if I could go check this fire and see if there's any activity there as far as morels. So, gonna do some foraging, some cooking, and just another great bush adventure. They're all great, even the bad ones. I'm getting into the area here, and back there there's a sign that says, The bridge is out! I can't hear you! The bridge is out, road closed, and uh, so I got down to the bridge here. I mean, it seems fine to me. It looks like they took a D8 cat across it so I don't understand uh, the bridge definitely is not out they're probably logging in here and they just don't want you in here but I mean the bridge looks fine they got it marked here but there's nothing wrong with the bridge they probably just don't want you in here uh, I haven't seen any vehicles but there's fresh tracks other people have been through here and they drove a big logging machine across this bridge so the bridge is definitely not out <laughs> but there's a nice campsite here i don't have a lot of light left anyway so have something to eat so we got water for coffee in the morning nice little fire pit somebody built seems like there's lots of wood around as you know i always look for that it's good water eh finn Nice clean water for Finn. It's not too muddy. It's a beautiful river actually. And uh, you know a lot of the rivers are getting dirty now because it's runoff time, but this one's still clean, so perfect. See there that there's that bridge that's out. Big metal beams and looks fine to me. Uh, this is a really, really nice spot. Actually, I have not been to this exact spot before. But um, anyway, I got some video of a black bear on the way in here. Hey. But I saw two grizzly bears on the way in here. So that's pretty cool. Not far away. And uh, I might want to keep my defender handy. Keep Finn in the truck with the windows part way down in case he barks. But uh, I love seeing the grizzlies. I usually end up seeing about five or six every year. But it's early in the season. I'll probably see quite a few more. Two already. Right on. I remember, I think it was one or two videos ago, somebody was saying, well, you shouldn't cook cook the steaks for Finn he'd probably be better for him raw and I mean I'm sure he would eat it raw I just don't want him to get sick and I doubt he would but we're gonna see if he actually likes them raw maybe it's a good idea leave a comment below 
if you think you should actually cook the steak for the dog or is it better for him raw? I mean, I haven't really researched that type of thing, really. Couple of big prime rib steaks. $31. You can see there. So I guess Finn gets a $15 steak. And we'll just see if he likes it raw. Hey Finn, you want a treat? I mean, if he doesn't like it, then I'll cook it. Look at this, Finn. Are you gonna sit? Are you gonna sit? Are you gonna sit? Sit, please. That's your treat for getting the firewood. Let's see if he's gonna eat it. You'd like it cooked, wouldn't you? Maybe he wants it cooked. Well, we shouldn't get it too dirty for you then. Oh no, there he goes. Now oh, he's chewing away on it. Well, I hope you don't get sick and somebody gave me bad advice, Finn. Well, he seems to like it. He seems to like it. Got a nice bone to chew on too, Finn. What did you see? There's nothing there. Well, okay, Finn, as long as you don't get sick, maybe that's the way you want them. Well, I feel rain, which I don't really like, so I better put the tarp up. You see on the rocks here. But, I think my steak's done. I seem to have run out of paper plates, so that's good enough. You already had your steak. Okay. I don't want to cut the rock too much, but I like the the uh, fat on these. It's only the stem. Come here, gentle. Good boy. Okay, get out of here now. I have to have some too, then. Yeah. Got my lighter. I like to use that for natural lighting. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning, and uh, it is raining, good thing I put the tarp up, steak was awesome, and hopefully Finn doesn't get sick, because he's not used to raw meat, but uh, I think he'll be okay in the morning. I guess I'll get up, um, it rained pretty much all night, uh, pretty hard from the times I woke up i could hear it raining on the tarp pretty good but actually you know that's actually a good thing because uh it's been dry for a while and uh i'm sure there would have been a fire ban any day if we didn't start and get some rain so hopefully we even get a bit more rain because we could use it all of alberta's in a fire ban uh the entire province and there's a couple areas in BC that are under fire ban already too, uh, Okanagan, a couple places. But uh, it would have just been a matter of a few days if we didn't get this rain and uh, we wouldn't have been able to have a fire here either. So, coffee time and then go check this fire. <sighs> it's hard to get up in the mornings when you're so comfortable in your superior gear hammock it's just hard to want to get up
Okay, well, I've uh, got to the beginning of the fire here. So I'll just take a little walk up the hill here and see if we can find any morels. I hiked uh, for quite a while way up this draw over this way I haven't even seen one mushroom even so obviously and it's pretty steep terrain uh, not the kind of spot I would want to pick morels it's uh, pretty steep it's uh, it would be and if I haven't found even one mushroom then maybe they haven't started in this area yet um, they might come yet, but maybe it's a week or two weeks away still. I think we'll just head to where Joe is. Uh, he's getting mushrooms there, so I may as well go and join up with him. I'm uh, just looking for Joe's camp. It's uh, in this area somewhere. Okay, found Joe's camp. Um, he's always elusive. He's kind of like me. He uh, finds these spots where nobody else goes. <laughs> But hey, I guess that's why we get along. Okay, there's Joe and Tom. Tom came from England to pick mushrooms with Joe. Now, he thinks Joe knows what he's doing, but he just likes company. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Good morning. So, Joe and Tom are out. Uh, they went to the fire to uh, collect some morel mushrooms. Myself, I'm going to get ready to uh, do a chicken on the fire this evening, collect some plants. Tom is from England. He likes his tea. Go and put the kettle on. So I'm going to see if I can find a couple of wild plants to make a good tea for him to try, do a taste test. But I picked up a package yesterday from the UPS people. We're going to see what we got in here. Las Vegas. kind of goodies oh yeah good 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 okay so we got some shirts for your kids which is cool there we go fin at sunset ovens rocky mountain bushcraft I like it I love it Finn has his own shirts and coffee mugs I don't have any I could have to get some oh boy oh yeah nice so I've got a few of these, so obviously I'm going to keep one or two and then give most of this stuff away to promote Finn. Quite a few different shirts, different colors, but that, people are going to love these. Mostly small shirts for kids. Right on, thanks John for sending this stuff. People are going to love it. Finn doesn't even know that he's on any of this stuff. But yeah, there you go. Metal. That's a nice way to start the day off. Actually, I, I asked John to get them to send me a couple of shirts and a couple of mugs, but uh, I got a lot more shirts and a lot more mugs and some stickers. So lots of stuff I can give away to the fans of Finn. Eventually I might get a t-shirt for myself <laughs> for the fridge. Everybody loves the Finn. Give this stuff away to people that really appreciate and support the channel. And uh, don't forget, you can uh, buy these products online. So right on. Okay, I found one that fits me. There we go. That'll be good. So, I'll see if I can find Joe. I don't think he expected me to come out here. So where he is, he said he was going to explore the fire more today. So, I mean, this is kind of a fun thing to do anyway. We'll surprise him. Ha! <laughs> Joe thinks he can hide. No. He tries to keep some of his spots secret, eh? Because he's doing a course in a couple of weeks. There's a couple of women from Oklahoma that are coming up to take his course what they really wanted was to meet me as well as doing the course so I promised I would be at his course which is in about two weeks so let's see what old Joe's up to well this will just get way up 
As long as it will let me fly high enough. Looks like the fire's over that way. Oh, what do I see here? Just a minute. There's a vehicle there, but I can't tell if it's Joe. I think I found him. He's about a kilometer away. So I uh, located Joe's truck, but then I flew the drone again and searched around until I found him and Tom picking the uh, edge of the forest for mushrooms. Right on, drones are handy. So uh, Tom and I are gonna have a little shootout with the bow. We've got a target in the back there, and uh, but I only have one arrow, so hopefully we don't break it. I'll let him go first. You're right-handed? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So what you have, your fist just wants to be the bottom of your fist Pardon? wants to be resting. This goes on here, oh, under. Right. Oh yeah, you gotta pull it back a bit more than that. Yeah. But with these fingers here, how do you usually, do you usually have one finger just guiding it, holding uh, it tight? Until it gets, yeah, and then, yeah, I kind of do. Oh, it's not hooked in, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, Finn, get out of the way. Oh, now I'm high. Well, you getting closer to the stump. Oh, I think I got the bullseye, or I nicked yeah, it in the edge. Yeah, we'll go see. Just about half an inch to the right. Almost dead center. Oh, a bit left. It seems like it's a lot, a lot. Uh, well, I don't go... Really <clears throat> to release, you know, to I don't hold it. Yeah, that's where I hold it. About there, okay. Yeah. Oh. Look down the sights as you look down it as well to see. Right. I haven't shot for a little while, but we'll get better at it. <laughs> ah, bullseye! We got her. That's more like it. Not far off the actual bullseye. Perfect shot. Chicken on a fire is just so awesome. Anything on a fire is great. Okay. Just gotta maintain the heat now because Well, it's brown nicely, and actually it's staying how I want it. I can flip it, and uh, it does stay how I want it. Throw some corn on. Uh, the guys aren't back from their mushroom pick yet. The chicken is looking real good. It really is. I've just been playing with it, turning it, keep basting it. Got nice heat. It's going to be good. There they are. <laughs> Okay, stay down, Finn. So, how'd you make out today, Joe? Oh, it was pretty rough, Greg. Pretty rough. Pre pretty rough. <laughs> rough, rough, rough. Okay, let's see what you got, Joe. Let's see what you got. You got this course coming up, so people want to wanna see, see the kind of mushrooms. The see how do the it. pros do it. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Those are nice. Not bad, not bad, Joe. Yeah, three hours. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, it's almost dark out, Joe. I've been cooking all day, slaving on a hot fire. <laughs> yeah, three hours. The rest of the time we were kind of, you know, hanging out by the creek. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Some people might believe you, but I don't. Well, Joe and uh, Tom are dealing with the mushrooms, but we're really losing daylight. So I'm going to have my chicken. See if the leg pulls off like that. That is perfect. But mind you, I mean, it's been on there for quite a few hours. It's been regulating the heat. And uh, just keep an eye on it. Babysit it. Skin is perfect. We're losing light. And uh, so I don't have to get video of those guys eating. The chicken's done just right, though. I wanted to collect some plants today and make some tea for Tom and this and that, but I wandered around. I only see camas, I don't see wild onion. I couldn't find uh, pineapple weed. I don't see horsetail. We're just in an area that doesn't seem to have the stuff that I wanted him to try. So maybe tomorrow I can find a couple of plants for him to try a different tea or two. But I can't find none here that I wanted to uh, get him to try. Okay, Finn, if you want a piece of skin, come. Okay, but you have to come over here. Gentle, gentle. Good boys. Okay, let me eat this now. Oh, that was good, eh? Isn't that good? He's a good taste tester, too. Mind you, he would eat almost anything. Let's see what you think. If it's done or not. Well, I don't care what you think. I know it's done. <laughs> My trusty shotgun knife. Yeah. Don't worry, I got a license for it. See how that pulled off? That's oh, perfect. Look at that. It's perfect. Joe. Check it out. No, it's not for you, Fins. Man, it's just so amazing. good. Tom? Oh, yes. It's looking good. I want to be too greedy and just start smashing into half the chicken. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm super greedy. hungry today either, but got some corn for you guys. You worked so hard getting mushrooms. Tomorrow I'm going to go and get some. Yeah, no, I can feel it. Oh, Chicken's good, eh, Joe? Amazing. Just amazing, isn't it? Because, you know, if you do it nice and slow and you babysit it, like, for hours like that, it doesn't dry out. Like, you you just got to know what you're doing. Mm. It's, it's just that simple. Some people just don't know how to cook on a fire. That hickory barbecue sauce, too, with the... Yeah, it's good. Smoke. For sure. You having troubles there? <laughs> oh, you're trying to get the I'm wing trying to the get whole the wing bit. as well, you're saying. Right. Hold on. Now I've got it. There you go. You're on video. <coughs> video, uh, so... You don't want to be videoing me eating, it'll get... <laughs> Why? It get, get, gets a bit primitive. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I don't care about that, but what do you think? It's done just right, eh? Perfect. Absolutely perfect and good. Absolutely wonderful, yeah. Loads of moisture still. Yeah. No, yeah, it's cut perfectly. Good. Morning. So, uh, Joe and Tom headed out at about 3 o'clock in the morning because he wanted to drive. He had to take the mushrooms. He's got people that have orders in and had to get them delivered today. But I think to finish this video off, I mean, I should really cook some mushrooms. I haven't even picked any. Now I know because I found them on the drone where they parked and where they were. So let's go get some mushrooms of our own. I'm back in the area where Joe and Tom were. I'm gonna check up in behind here. Along the creek in the gully there. I've only gone about 50 feet from where I just was. So I'm gonna take the first one because uh, it's the first one of the year. It's hard to do this properly with one hand. There we go. First morel of the year. But now that I get looking, somebody's been here already before, 
because these have been cut. I don't know if actually uh, Tom and Joel walked this area, but I'm not the first person through this particular spot. Okay, I got a little better group here. Got three there. A couple over here. Oh, there's a couple coming up over there. Right on. There's some uh, stinging nettles coming up beside the creek, even though they don't have a lot of shade anymore. Well, I got enough um, to do my little cook. I'm satisfied with that. I'm not a commercial picker. What I want to do is uh, chicken morel uh, Alfredo sauce for spaghetti. Um, and uh, show you as I go along how to make a real nice sauce that uh, goes really well with spaghetti. There's a nice easy recipe and uh, if you try it, I think you'll really like it. I think the kids will like it too. Now I, I use a fair amount of butter think butter is bad for you, but it's better in margarine. My smaller morels, I'm just going to throw right in. The bigger ones I'll cut in a couple of pieces. It might look like a lot of butter, and that's because it is. Look at those tasty morels. Mm. So good, I'm telling you. Here is kind of the secret ingredient to doing a good sauce or a good actually sauteed morel mushroom is a shot of wine. Now, you can use whatever wine, red, white, doesn't matter. They didn't have much choice at the store. This is about one of the only wines I could find, whatever it is. But basically, this is what makes or breaks morels when you're sauteing. You need a shot of wine. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh boy. Okay, so now I'm just going to take them off. Like, not off, but like move them back where they're just kind of simmering and cover them. And I'm going to give that about 10 minutes. Now at this point, I'm going to add I've just got these little packs of black pepper. Put a couple of packs of those in. Because pepper actually goes really nice with morels as well. Another few minutes, not, not long. Oh, that looks good. Mm, man, is that ever good? Now look at that, eh? sauce in there. Look at that for a spaghetti sauce. I mean that is just awesome. Full of morel flavor. The pepper, the onion, everything just so good on a spaghetti sauce. Now you can add chicken which would be a nice addition. You gotta like the morels, I'm telling you. Mm. Man, is that good, I'm telling you. So good. If you try this recipe, you're gonna be very impressed. And if you need dried morels, get a hold of Canadian Fun Guy, my buddy Joe. He sells them. He sells dried mushrooms. So, did you know what would be funny? Is if I phoned him up. Because he's up on a, another fire now, way up north. He said, wow, there's not enough mushrooms here. I could pull a little prank on him at the beginning of the next video and say, hey, Joe, like, you know, where you guys were picking you and uh, Tom, I just went up uh, the creek a hundred yards and they were everywhere. I filled the bucket in ten minutes. 
What? He'd be right back down here. <laughs> uh, that's a prank I should pull. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, there's going to be another adventure coming up right away. Uh, we're going to do lots of adventures this year. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. All you subscribers, all you viewers. It means a lot to me. So thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.